Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transpose data in Microsoft Excel between rows and columns. Now, I know some of you have probably seen sheets like this before. You get a sheet from someone else because you wouldn't build it this way, obviously. But someone else sends you a sheet, right? And they've got the years, for example, here going across in the columns. And the budget category is going down like this when you really want to have it like this, right? You want to have the columns be the budget categories and the rows be the years. Why? We'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, let me show you how to actually transpose these two so you can flip back and forth. All right, so here's my sheet. Someone else sent it to me. No, actually, I set this one up, but I set it up wrong on purpose. Okay, I've got the years going across the columns across the top here, and I got my budget categories over here on the left. And what I want to do now is flip these, transpose them. It rotates the horizontal and the vertical. It's kind of like when you take your TV and just put it on the side, right? Portrait and landscape. Okay, so how do we do that? There's two different ways we can do it. Yeah, there's, I've seen some other tricks online. There's different ways, but there's, there's basically there's two ways to do this. One is a static method where we just copy and paste it, and pff, it's a copy of the data. And the other one uses a function. And the, the benefit of the function is if the original data changes, if you want to keep this one this way, then the, the new data will change as well. So let me show you both methods. All right, so the first method is just basically like copy and paste. We're going to select this whole area, copy it, control C, come over where you want it to go, right click, paste special, transpose right down there, and hit OK. Boom, it's that easy. Okay, and yeah, you can add some colors and do whatever you want. But you can see here, I got the years going down the rows now, and these categories over here are the columns. Okay, that's the static method. Now, these are actual numbers here. If this value changes to five, this one doesn't change because that's just a copy. All right. Okay, let me undo that. Control Z, Control Z. All right, let me show you the other way to do it now. Now, this way involves a function. So I can come over here and I can say equals and then the transpose function, T-R-A-N-S-P-O-S-E, transpose, right? Open parenthesis, and now it wants an array. The array is basically your area over here that you want to transpose, right? Select it like that with the mouse or type it in if you want, and then press enter, and boom, there it goes. Now, the benefit of this method is that if you want to keep this alive, you want to keep working with data like this, you want to type in 100 over here, Watch that. See, it changed over here now. That's all right there. And you can still, you know, you can still add some formatting and make this different and whatever you want to do with it. What I usually do in this case is I'll take this and put it on a different sheet. All right? Let me cut that out. Control X. I'll slip over here to sheet two and I'll paste it in here. All right. And this is still transposed. If you click in here, right, you can see up here, it's still transposed. So you don't want to come in here and start typing because you'll break stuff. See? All right. Undo. We'll leave this guy alone and come over here and change stuff over here. Keep in mind, if you're using an older version of Excel, you can't just do what I just did. This, I think, started working in Excel 2019, I think. Um, you had to press Control Shift Enter and do a bunch of weird stuff if you have an older version. So this is good for 2019, 2021, if you got a 365 subscription. If you don't have a subscription, get a subscription. It's a low monthly fee. And it, it, you just get the updates and everything is new and fresh. Okay. Okay. So that's how you transpose stuff. Now, the big question is why? Why would you want to do this? What does it matter? Well, aside from aesthetics and the way it looks, the big difference is if you want to put this in a database. Now, as most of you know, yeah, I do Excel, but I'm really the Microsoft Access guy. Access is my thing, right? I'm, I, I'm all about Access databases. And... This does not import well into a database table, okay? Because these are your records and these are your fields. You don't want a field called 2020, 2021, 20. No, when this imports into the database, no, that's just not, no, no. I've seen people, people have sent me databases where they had like sales summary fields, you know, January, February, March, whatever going across. No, don't do that. This is much, much better. Okay, and much easier to read when you import this into Access because now at least you have a record that represents 2020, a record that represents 2021, and you can have these as fields. 
Okay, these can be budget fields in your table, although there is a better way. And I'll show you how to set that up in Microsoft Access. So for those of you who are Access nerds like me, look for my Transpose Data video for Access Learning Zone. It's a tech help video. I'll put a link down below you can click on if you want to watch this one. All right, we'll import the file right in as a table. Okay, here's your year, and each category goes across like this. But this isn't the best way to do it because now you're limited to these. If you want to add a new category, you have to change the table design. We try to avoid that, right? So the categories should themselves be in a category table so the user can quickly and easily add categories, right? So then we got to take this and transpose this with some query work into this budget table right here. See, this is properly normalized now. Now we've got each category ID, which represents this guy, right? And then the year and then the amount. And now we can put all this together into the budget form, which is this guy. This is how the data should look. Okay, this is properly normalized in the database the way it should be. Okay, and if we want to get back to the summary information that we had before, well, that's what cross-tab queries are for. So see, we've come full circle now. <laughs> All right, it looks the way it originally looked, but at least the data is saved in the database in the right way. Okay? And then in the extended cut for members, we'll do some things like this. We'll add little filter boxes here so we can see, okay, show me all 2022. Uh, show me just the electric, you know? Uh, you want to add the next year on here? Click add next year. Are you sure you want to add 2023? Yup. And now you can just fill in your amounts. That'll be covered in the extended cut. But the first part's free, so check it out. It's one of my tech help videos, Transpose Data. I'll put a link down below that you can click on. Okay, let me switch hats now back to Excel. I hope you learned something today. If you want to learn more about Transpose in Microsoft Excel, I cover it in my Excel Expert Level 8 class, which you'll find on my website. I'll put a link down below that you can click on. And, of course, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, ideas, feel free to post them in the comment section down below. I hope you learned something today and we'll see you next time. So that's it. Want to learn more Excel? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Stop by my website to watch my free Excel level one course. It's over 90 minutes long and it covers all the basics. And if you want me to post more Excel videos, I need to hear from you. About 90% of what I do is Microsoft Access, but I'm also a published Excel author and I love Excel. So if you want to see me post more free Excel videos, post a comment below and let me know. Say, hey, I want more Excel.